what's going on guys unfortunately long time no see good to see you guys uh, we're finally back out fishing we're not gonna do any of that hunting stuff today we're gonna be out on the ice uh, here there's some skim ice down on the Summerfest ponds and also in the McKinley Marina so we're gonna go check those two areas out see what's going on uh, see if we can't get a couple browns or Lakers or anything really just looking for anything to bite so um, we're gonna head down there give it a shot I got to stop and pick up my rod from my office cube I left it in there uh, I didn't think I was gonna be ice fishing this weekend but uh, apparently there's ice down there it's cold enough so we're gonna give it a shot we'll see you guys out on the ice peace all right we just got to the Summerfest ponds we're gonna go check the ice here with our spud bar <laughs> we're gonna leave all our gear in the truck until we see if it's safe or not we're gonna check it out and uh, if it's not we'll head to the McKinley Marina and see if there's any safe ice over there well safe ice all right let's go pop the old Freeble FXE task glove on it's got the sticky liner on it so far so good bought these on Black Friday been doing work for me. Keep my hand nice and roasty holding the spud bar. Ah, oh, man, I should have taken the boat out today. Oh, uh, well. I was out yesterday. I couldn't get anything to bite. I heard it was a pretty slow day. Ah, uh, it's too warm out today. I feel like the ice is melting already. Well, I bought a new striker ice fishing suit that I'll show you guys later. Uh, and it floats. So if I do fall in, I float at least <laughs> for what good that is. Well, here we are. A little sketchy. I mean, it looks okay, actually. People have been throwing rocks out there. We're gonna throw ourselves out there. Wish me luck here. Oh boy. Well, I don't like that. Let's go on over here where there's no cracks. Whoa. I bought some ice cleats too. I should have wore those. I'll grab those if I do come out here. Is that open? Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Oh boy. Oh. I think we're good. Oh, we just put a crack right through the ice under me here. Well, I'll let you guys get a bit of this, so if I do fall through, you can see. All right. Close to three inches of ice. Maybe. We're gonna fish it anyways. Hole number one. Looks like I'm the pioneer this year. I don't think anyone's out, anyone has been out here yet. I haven't seen any holes. We got some decent ice here though. All right. About the same. Maybe a tad, tad bit thinner, but about the same. Decent ice. We're gonna give it a shot. All right, let's go grab our gear. 
get our lines in the water, huh? Should have brought my sled. Well, it's not very far haul. We'll make it. Huh. Maybe. Ah. Oh, I'm starting to sweat. Come on. Oh. You can make it. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, we're sweating. Better open up the vents. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're giving it a shot. Just wanted to let everybody know, as always, safety first. So I mentioned it before, but I got the new Striker Ice uh, ice fishing suit, Black Friday deal, and uh, it floats. So if I do go through, I'm floating. And I bring these out with me. So I got a pair of uh, just high tech, the brand high tech uh, ice picks. So I can, if I do go through, Stab these through the ice, pull myself out, put those right around my neck, so I'm ready. And then also I got some ice cleats so I don't fall, put a bunch of pressure in one spot and break through. Not to mention it helps me be mobile. There they are. These are the uh, Ice Trekkers ice cleats. They, they weren't that expensive. And I'll let you go. I'll let you guys know how they work. This is my first time using them. First time out this season. Woo! All right. I'm gonna try to keep my gear spread out a little bit so I don't put too much weight in one spot. The ice is already starting to sink a little. Make sure I have an alternate route off the lake in case this part breaks or gets too warm. I don't know. We'll see. and a half feet right here. All right. Locked and loaded. All right, I set this one a little bit shallower too. 16 feet deep here, and it's about eight and a half feet down. Tip up. Tip up. Damn it, I saw it go down again. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Well, that was exciting. Damn it. All right, let's refresh. Keep going here, folks.
what the deal is. What the deal is with this one guys it's the fourth time it tripped let me go grab the bait all right guess we'll just keep rebaiting until we get one huh oh no i just put a big hole in my glove oh. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, there we go. I just set it down. Fish on, folks. Fish on. Just put it down there. Woo! Nice. This is my first, first trout or salmon through the ice. I've never caught one before. Oh, nice. Nice fish. Not sure what it is. Come on. Come here. Come on. Oh. It's not ready yet. what it is it has white gums this is what we got here you guys tell me what this is white gums that's fun all right let him go get it back down there first fish through the ice come on down and join me see you later buddy Woo! That was fun. Right as I was putting my line down there, I wonder if that's the one that's been uh, tripping it. Either way, we got one on the board, folks. All right. You guys, let me know what that was, cause I'm not sure. Well, I'm I'm glad that happened because I now know that my skein here is still good for the most part so we'll keep using it and we'll get it back down there see if there's some more I didn't know if I was going crazy or if I was actually getting bites but I was pretty sure I could see my rod tip down before now I know true story yes man that was just a small probably I don't know six seven pounder just think if I start catching 15 pounders, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. That was ridiculous. All right, we're set. Let's do her again. I'm definitely not sponsored or anything in that matter, but these new striker ice bibs are freaking awesome. I love them. I got the knee pads, my knees are nice and comfortable. One of the best parts is it has this absorption cloth here that you can wipe your hands on. It gets them nice and dry rather than putting the slime on your bibs. And then you can just rip it off, throw them in the wash. Pretty smart guys over there at Striker. And this stuff's keeping me super warm. Just saying, just saying. Pretty impressed. Woo! Let's do that again. We're gonna keep this on ya. This time. You're not fooling anyone this time. That's a wrap, folks. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We uh, 
ended up with one nice fish, which again, I'm not exactly sure what it was. So if you do know what it was, please leave a comment in the section below so I can uh, figure it out. Learn something from you guys. I'm glad we ended up getting one our first day out on the ice. First day of the 2018-2019 uh, ice season. So I can't complain with that. Had a great time. Met a couple new buddies, uh, Lyndon and Noah. So we'll probably be fishing with those guys again. If you did like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Peace.